Welcome back for another War Thunder random battle video. Today is going to be with my Soviet 8.3 lineup, and this is a battle from 3 August 2017. It was one of the random battles that I played during Operation Summer, and it also happened to be while you could get the uh, paratrooper decal for the Soviet Airborne Forces, which wasn't a really highly publicized thing. And I wouldn't have known about it if I didn't see Tiger Frost's video about it. And it turns out I was already fairly well on my way to getting it earned, but I probably wouldn't have earned it quickly enough. It just so happened I was playing my Soviet lineup a lot because I have a lot of vehicles. Well, I did have a lot of vehicles left to research. I really don't now. I've only got the ZSU-234 for Tier 5. I've got a couple lower tier vehicles left to get still that I'm going to work on after the ZSU-234, but... I'll probably take a little break from my Soviets and move on to Japan here shortly. Um, anyway, back to the actual battle. Uh, so driving up to the capture point on uh, Ardennes here, and I know I've mentioned this a million times in my videos, but it, it just seems like this shouldn't have to be a discussion point anymore. Like, it should be well known enough that you wait for the first capture point. Like, look how many more players and tanks from our team we're right there by the point. At least four more guys coming up that should have been able to make it in. I... I don't know. Anyway. It just seems like something that should be fairly well enough known that you shouldn't have to explain it every time. But of course, it only takes one person to go in the cap. Now, I guess the guy that like started the cap is the guy who's all the way back at the B point right now, and he just blew through it, but... If you don't tell the team, hey, I'm going to drive through the cap but not cap it, it's kind of hard to not anticipate and assume that you're going in the cap. So anyway, enough about that. I did at least make it into the cap and press forward then towards the C point with my T-55A. So as I'm rolling up to the C point here, this T-62 is just totally blocking the road. I'm trying to get around to get to the C point, which is being taken by our team, but this guy's not going to move. And then as I'm trying to basically plow my way through him to get him to move, I take double hits. So obviously a rocket Jagdpanzer II here hitting me with rockets, and he's just going to sit there and not press forward. So not moving out of the way for me to get through, or moving forward to go shoot at the guy that's shooting missiles into me. Now watch this one here. This is where I really got annoyed with him. Now at this point, okay, he doesn't need to press. Okay, now a missile just comes through and hits me, and instead of pressing forward and shooting the guy, he backs off again. Now a second missile comes through, so obviously he's fired. And now he finally presses up to shoot, and doesn't even get a shot on the guy. So anyway, small gameplay tip here, if you're right next to a teammate who takes a hit from a missile tank or from any tank at all, drive forward and shoot it. Even if you drive forward just enough to chase it away and scare it away, do something. Don't just sit back behind cover and wait for your teammate to keep getting hit. I mean, unless you know there's more than one back there that you'll take a counterfire from. If it's just one there, like I was taking it from, go up there and shoot him. Anyway, a leopard gets up behind me and finishes me off there. But that did give me enough points to come back in anything I wanted, so I came back to do a little cast action here, because this was during the Operation Summer event. So I actually was planning to come back in the Su-6 here to boost my score up around 2,000, and then finish in a tank to get the 2,000 score for one of the tank achievements. So that was the idea behind coming back in the uh, Soviet cast asset here. takes a moment to get to the battle, but uh, it won't take very long for the action to happen. 
Enemy team starts taking C, so of course I'm going to roll in towards C because there's obviously enemies there. And as I zoom in, an enemy aircraft appears, and as he comes right at me, did get him, but he also burned me out, so. Even trade, I guess, although it wasn't really an even trade because they lost a 190A5 who had one rocket launch and I lost, our team lost the Su-6 that had more than one rocket launch plus 37mm cannons with HVAP ammo, so not really an even trade. But thankfully I still had enough score to come back in my T-62, so back into the battle we go with a very capable main battle tank to follow up the T-55 with. So there's a Horton going by there in the background. That's a bit of an issue. Thankfully, we do have a T-17E2 capable anti-aircraft. Lightly armored, but still very capable with a rate of fire for taking down a Horton. The, uh... T-17E2 back there behind me, so just asked him, please, please, focus on that Horton, man. Put some rounds after him. Keep him off the rest of us in our engine decks. And he did. He didn't shoot him down, but he kept the Horton distracted enough that at least I didn't get strafed, so I was happy. So we've got a pretty good ticket lead here. We're doing pretty well. The battle's going... Pretty well for us, actually. So the ZSU-57 here took a hit from something and is calling for help at the A point. And I'm the only tank who's really realistically close to him. So ask him where it is. He does actually mark it, which lets me know, okay, that's where he is. And I'm going to come in, try to hunt this guy down that is marked here coming up towards the A point. As we're trying to get the T-62 to obey me and do what I want it to do and drive where I want it to drive and turn here. It ended up kind of working out, actually, as you'll see here in just a moment. Because, right as I'm driving up, there's a Type 74 that just happens to drive right in front of me. And I happen to pick his crew off with a APF SDS dart. And that's that. And the ZSU-234 actually shot down the Horton there, but it's okay because the... The T-17 kept fire on him, and that was sufficient enough. So, rolling back into the C-point here, you can hear something nearby. And like I said to my teammate there in the ZSU, thank you for marking the guy, because I wouldn't have known he was there. I probably would not have run into him over in the woods where I was, but I at least was able to get a kill on the guy there because my teammate actually marked where he was. And I did laugh at the uh, the comment and chat about not watching my videos anymore because I killed him. That was pretty funny. I wasn't mad. And I should play my Axis a little more. I have not been playing them at all lately. I've only really been playing the Soviets. So I need to branch out a little bit again now that I've got most of my high tier Soviet research done finally. So, coming around here, there's a leopard, nice and spotted out in the open. Get a nice, good shot into his turret, take out his breach, his commander, and his gunner. Which pretty much sets me up to finish him, if I can just get my T-62 to get itself into gear, and also get my loader to get himself into gear and get me loaded in time. And then, of course, I hit him in the track instead of doing some actual damage to him. But the benefit to that was actually pinning him into place, so... He at least can't use his speed to get away from me now. And somehow I managed to hit the only spot in the Leopard's turret where the APF SDS from the T-62 wasn't going to go through from 50 feet away. But luckily his uh, breach was damaged well enough that I was able to reload faster than he was able to get it repaired and I finally was able to finish him off by taking out another crew member. I was going for the ammo, hit the crew member, whatever, good enough, finish him off. So, pressing back in towards the B point here, or the C point rather. T-62 
team is calling for help at the C point, so I'm gonna head that way. And render some assistance. And as I make my way up into position here, you can hear some teammates shooting off to the left. You can hear teammates off to the right. Can't see anybody obvious here in the beginning. Our team is now taking the C point, as well as moving in on the B point a little bit. And as we roll up here, got to the C point. It said I get captured the C point. I actually didn't because it didn't give me, it didn't show me any research or lion score, so I didn't actually get a capture for it. But, kind of irrelevant, doesn't really matter. Able to press in right behind this falcon here who essentially becomes my scout up ahead of me. And we're going to move in towards the B point. It actually was a good thing that I had my little armored cab scout in front of me there because he tripped off the uh, tiger amb or a leopard ambush there. And uh, it's kind of cheap for me, but I was able to move in and take advantage of the uh, leopard revealing himself and pull off a third kill there for the battle. And then the enemy team starts taking the C point behind us, so turn around and roll back in on it. Now, if you aren't watching the screen yet, get ready to actually pay attention to what happens coming up here. It's one of those moments where it's probably happened to just about everybody and it's annoying and frustrating when it happens but it's kind of funny to watch it in the replay. So as you can see a leopard in the C point backing up I get a great shot from behind him and here comes a bomb you'll notice we are taking the C point back there are bombs coming in I don't know what they are so I'm just in full speed trying to move away from them You'll see them fall and watch the screen. Yep. <laughs> that was a teammate. And it's really funny because a lot of people talked about it in the chat. Now, I was pretty angry during the battle, of course, because I was doing pretty well in the T62. I had four kills. I just finished a capture. It was going really well. So, yeah, I was a little mad that he didn't say anything or give any warning. Not before he dropped bombs, not after he dropped bombs either, and noticed, oops, there's friendlies there, look out, guys, nothing. So, just another gameplay tip, if you're going to drop bombs on anything that's even close to being contested by your team, just say something. Even, even if it's after you drop, just say, hey, watch out, get off, point, whatever, or bombs near, wherever, or just something. But, I forgive him now, it's well after the fact, and... It was actually kind of funny, but at the time, yeah, I was pretty angry. Anyway, come back into the battle in the Object 906, and the chat was also pretty funny, too. The chat helps me forgive and forget, because it was pretty funny. He did get some follow-up kills on the en enemy team, at least, so there was that. So we're rolling back up to the battle yet again in the Object 906 this time. Now I'm trying to get, remember this is during the Operation Summer event of 2017, so I'm trying to get a 2000 score or 6 kills or supporting fires or all the, you know, just a victory with 70% battle activity, all the other things that you needed to get the uh, tanker mark of distinction in RB. Now, of course, captures go a long way towards the 2,000 score, and I just missed another capture here, very close. But right as I get to the C point, the enemy starts taking it, and I manage to get a shot into his... manage to miss his counterfire, and get a good shot into the breach on that STB, and then, because he had taken the C point away, I actually did get a capture. So real fast, uh, 300 points for that recapture there. Now I know I knocked his breach out, so I pressed the attack on him quickly here. Fire off another shot because I thought he was going to get away. It turned out he was stopped and had face behind me. I think he thought I was going to come from that way. Thankfully, the Object 906's reload is fast enough that I was able to get a kill into him, and that was my sixth tank kill. 
Well, that was my sixth overall kill. Never mind, not my sixth tank kill. Because there was an air kill with the uh, Sukhoi 6. However, shortly after that came a Tiger 2. And I got a kill on him. And that was my six kills with tanks in the battle. So that was the six... The 11 kills times two bonus for RB that you had to get as one of the... One of the event kills to get the uh, tanker mark of distinction. So got that knocked out of the way. Because after that, really, you can get the... You can get the player kills and you can get the battle victories on your own within the two-day time, no problem. The hardest ones to get, for me, were getting the six kills in one battle with tanks or getting the five supporting fires because it's really hard to get that with random squad mates. But I did also want the captures because that was how I was getting the emblem of the Soviet Airborne Forces decal was with the 30 captures in RB with Soviet tanks, and that was eventually how I got it. I haven't put it on anything yet, but uh, I will. I just I, do, I don't really drive the ASU-57 or the ASU-85 at all. Probably once I spade out my Object 906, I'll probably put the ASU-85 back in my light tank lineup for the Soviets and start spading that out, although I just hate it. Now that was the guy that I had killed there in the chat talking about direct hits not killing Russian tanks. I thought he was talking about me because he had shot at me in his STB, but he didn't get a good hit on me because he certainly would have killed me in my Object 906, but anyway, he said he wasn't talking about me, so doesn't matter, I guess. But as you can see there at the end, first place, I also got the emblem of the Airborne Forces at the end of this battle for getting enough captures. That pushed me over 30 there. And as you can see, six ground targets destroyed, one air target destroyed for a total of seven. Lucky number seven, like the title of the video. First place, fair amount of research towards my object, 268. Well over 2,000 score for the Operation Summer event as well. Whole bunch of awards there. And here's all the kill run-ups. Not too bad, really. Battle went pretty well, even with getting the team kill there from the PEA. And like I said, I forgive him. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you for stopping by and checking this one out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Tell all your friends to come watch my videos if you like them. Come back for more. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Have a great day, everybody.